Hello friends, in this video tutorial, I will give you a quick demo about the workflow of Orange software. As you can see on my screen that I have opened the Orange software. At present, everything is blank on the workspace area. So the UI of the Orange software can be divided into three parts broadly. Like any other software, there is a menu bar at the top. There is an active workspace area in the center that is completely white at present and on the left side there are multiple tabs containing many widgets. Today we will have a quick look at some of the most important widgets that we will use over the time. We will learn about these widgets as and when we use in our project. So to load a widget into an active workspace area we can do it by many ways. For example, we can either right click on the workspace area and we can choose which widget we want to use. For example, I want to use file. I will just select the file from the right click drop down menu and it will be loaded in the active workspace area. Another method from the left side of the tabs, I can drag the widget into the active workspace area. And the third method could be I can simply click on the widget that I want on my active workspace area. So you can choose any one of the method that you like. Every widget has certain properties and some of the widgets have either input or output or both features. What do I mean by this? For example, if I drag the file widget onto the active workspace area, as you can see it is loaded. There is a dotted line on the right side of the widget. It means it has certain output properties. If I hover the mouse on the widget, when you hover the mouse on the file widget, it shows that file has no input and it shows that in output it will load the data. So when I double click on this and see the other properties, I can see that there is an option to load our data set. At present, I have loaded the diabetes data set. You can also load another data set of your choice by selecting the location of the data set using this button. For this demonstration, I will be using the diabetes data set only. So I will close the dialog box. Now the next important widget that we will use frequently is data table. We can either drag and drop it or we can insert it by single click or lastly as I shown you we can also insert it by right clicking and there is one more method to load this widget into the active workspace area. I will talk about it in a minute. Let's first drag and drop it. So now on this particular widget as you can see there is dotted line on the left side and there is dotted line on the right side. So if I hover on this widget I can see it can accept input as data or data subset and it would produce output as selected data or data. What does it mean? It means if you carefully see it has input type of data and what was the output type of file? It was data. So from this we understand that we can connect the output of the file to the input of the data table. What happens if we don't connect it? Let's undo it. If I double click on the data table, I won't see anything because right now the data set is not provided to data table. So to visualize the data table, first we need to connect it to a data set. So we can connect the data set to data table by clicking on the right side of the file widget that is on the output side and we don't lift our mouse click. We simply drag the mouse and connect it with the data table. Now as we can see the data set is connected with the data table. Now if I double click on this I can see the data set. As described in earlier video this particular data set has 16 features such as age, gender, polyuria, polydipsia etc. and one class that shows if the case is positive or negative for diabetes. So I have demonstrated the file and the data table widget. Similarly there are other widgets in the transform tab or in the visualize tab, model tab, evaluate tab, 
we will use some of these widgets in our this project and we will learn about these in more detail as and when we use them. So before wrapping up this video, let us try to see one more widget. How does this work? So this time I have used the distribution widget. I will connect it with the data table. As you can see here, instead of data, it is showing as selected data. What does selected data mean? It means if I double click on this and if I select a particular data, it will show only those particular data set on the output side. So that would be input of the distribution side. So if I want to see the whole data set in our next step, I need to double click on selected data and change the connection from selected data to data. How can I do this? Either I can simply click on data and connect it with the data of distribution or I can click on the cross button that comes in between and create a new connection from data of the data table to data of distribution. In this way, the whole data set is connected to the next step that is distribution in this case. If I double click on the distribution, now I can see that there are more data sets available to show. Hello friends, I have opened a new instance of Orange software and in this new file, I simply dragged the file widget. I loaded the diabetes data set. After that, I imported data table into the active workspace area and connected it with file widget. Later on, I used distribution widget and connected it with data table and I connected data of data table with the data of distributions so that the whole data could be visible. If I double click on distribution, now we can see the distribution according to gender, if polyuria is present or not, polydipsia is present or not, polyphasia is present or not, like this. With this file, I wanted to show you how to save the workspace. If I go to file, click on save or press the shortcut key Control S, I will locate my folder where I should save the file and I will name it and click on save. For example, I will save it as diabetes demo. Now this file has been saved. If I close the orange software now, now if I reopen the orange software and if I want to work again on the same file that I was working last time, that was diabetes demo. If it is a recent file, then I can directly access it from open recent. As you can see, there is diabetes demo. Or if you don't find your file in the recent section, you can also open it using control O or the file menu item open. So here I can see the file that I was working on. That is diabetes demo. I can just open it and I can continue my work. That's all for this video.